In this tutorial, we'll look at max quantity per package, or how to set rules about the number of items allowed per shipping package. The rules set will determine the number of labels printed when shipping an order. Open the toolbox on the product level and scroll down to the Shipping Preferences tab. On the Shipping Preferences page, use these settings to configure the max quantity. Let's say you want to always ship one unit individually in its own package. Enable the max quantity per package option and enter a value of 1 in the max quantity per package field. Now, when an order for four units of this product comes in, four labels with separate tracking numbers will automatically be generated when shipping the order. If the number is set to 2 and you are shipping an order of four units, two shipping labels will be generated automatically with two units going into each package. Likewise, a separate label will be generated for this SKU when an order is comprised of this SKU and other SKUs. Now let's open a kit parent to see how this applies to a kit. The max quantity of a kit applies to the kit parent SKU, not to its components. So if you set the max quantity to one, and an order for two of this kit comes in, two labels will be printed one for each kit. All the components of the first kit will need to be packed into package 1, and the components of the second kit will be packed into package 2. But what if you want to have components packed in separate packages? For that, kits have another package configuration option, the number of packages. We'll disable the max quantity per package option for now, to demonstrate how this works. By default, the number of packages will be set to 1. To add another package, enter a value of 2 in the Number of Packages field. The grid below lists all the components of the kit. Using the package dropdown at the right of the grid, you can select which components should go into which package. If your kit has three components, you can combine two components into one package while shipping the third component in a separate package. Package dimensions can be set in the Package Dimension Configuration panel beneath the grid. It's important to understand that the number of packages only directs SKUs to packages. It does not set the quantity of SKUs allowed per package. This means that labels will only be generated for the amount of packages entered in the Number of Packages field, regardless of whether the order consists of a single kit unit or multiple kit units. If multiple kits were ordered, you would need to pack matching components into the same package. However, you can use the number of packages together with the max quantity per package option to control how many components can be packed into one package. For example, if you need to pack components individually, enable the max quantity per package option and enter a value of 1. Now the number of packages will be applied to each kit individually. For example, this kit has two components with two packages configured and a max quantity of one per package. If an order for two of this kit comes in, then a total of four labels will be generated when shipping the order. Two labels for the first kit and two labels for the second kit. Max quantity per package can also be updated in bulk on the bulk update page using these column headers. For multiple shipping labels and tracking numbers to be generated in ShipRidge, Multi-package support must be enabled from the menu in ShipRidge. On the Order Detail page, the tracking number of the main package will display in the Shipping tab. You can select another package from the drop-down to view its tracking number. Packages and tracking numbers can also be viewed in the Package Update History grid at the bottom of the Order Detail page. For more information on max quantity per package, please visit wiki.southercloud.com.